lot of men that come to see me in my rooms are concerned because they have difficulties with their urination and they're worried that it means they probably have prostate cancer. This is usually a misnomer and I initially have to reassure most of them that this is far more likely to be caused by a non-cancerous enlargement or swelling of their prostate known as benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH which leads to waterworks issues. I tell my patients that the prostate's a small gland that sits at the base of the bladder and when men want to urinate, the bladder squeezes, the prostate relaxes and opens up and we urinate out through the centre of it. Non-cancerous growth or BPH causes enlargement and swelling of this central channel thereby narrowing it and causing blockage of the urethra or urinary pipe resulting in urinary flow obstruction. In Australia, the overall prevalence of BPH increases with age and it's the most common non-cancerous prostate disease affecting approximately half of men between the age of 50 and 60 and up to 90% of men over the age of 80. Initially, but not always, as a result of BPH, patients may complain about waterworks issues such as difficulty starting, stop-start stream or dribbling at the end of their stream. Eventually the bladder may either weaken and lose the ability to empty completely, known as hypocontractility, or thicken, resulting in a poorly compliant or overactive bladder, essentially a bladder that can't relax and stretch appropriately. Now prostate cancer, on the other hand, tends to grow in the outer rim or capsule of the prostate. It's a little bit like a bruise on an apple, and it's therefore very unlikely that it'll affect the central channel of the prostate that we urinate through. Now prostate cancer is a very heterogeneous disease, as are the patients that it afflicts. As a result, investigations are undertaken to establish issues and detect any sign of prostate cancer. And these begin with a simple blood test called the prostate blood test, or PSA, and a prostate examination. The PSA reading indicates how active a man's prostate is. Things that make a prostate more active are an enlarged prostate, an inflamed prostate, or a cancerous prostate. The prostate blood test provides each individual patient their risk of having prostate cancer and allows them to be actively involved in the ongoing decision process about the benefits and yields of a prostate MRI and diagnostic targeted prostate biopsy. It's recommended that all men between the age of 50 and 75 should be tested on a yearly basis with the simple blood test. And men who have a family history should have their first test at the age of 40. I tailor my treatment specifically for each individual patient, taking into account all other factors. I reassure them that only the latest gold standard techniques are used by me for detection and treatment of prostate cancer to minimise morbidity and maximise cure.